Welcome back, gang. Briarcliff basketball back at home for a Saturday doubleheader with Dakota Wesleyan. And the Charger women are rolling at the right time, winning 11 of its last 13 games behind an offense, averaging 82 points per game. Efforts they aim to continue this afternoon. Chargers aiming for the season sweep over the Tigers. Dakota Valley product Riley Rosenquist hoping to play spoiler. Late third quarter, Briarcliff behind 75-55, but look at the ball moving from Connor Sudman to Madeline Deichler for the bucket. Trainer to trainer, each paced the team with 24 and 22. Chargers chipping away in the fourth. Peyton Slaughter kicking it to Kagan Held. Money, 5 nothing. Chargers run. They've got something cooking. Tigers, though, sharpening their claws after the timeout. Morgan Edelman nailing the step back jumper to beat the buzzer. Dak West offense kept on clicking. Ahead by 19 with under five to play. Maddie Reiner connects on the turnaround. Jay, team high 17 points for her as the Chargers win streak comes to a halt. 89 71, the final. Part two now. Briarcliff inducting three of its newest members to the Hall of Fame at half. Robert Ianchell, Scott Morton, and men's assistant coach Brian Forbes. But let's run it back to the first half. BC up 10 to 8. SBL alum Connor Grove splashing the three ball. Chargers explode out to a 13 to 2 run from there. Dakota Valley responding. Cole Uphold cutting through the lane. Bucket and the Bruce for him. He tied for a team high 11. Chargers back on the attack. Nathan Hall shimmies down low. Floater to fall. He had eight today, but no one had a bigger half than Groves. 35 to 17. Tigers throw it away. Groves gathers it, and he wants to pull up from the student center this time. He can't miss. Five for five from deep in the first half. Game high 24 points. Chargers led 52 20 at the break. They scratched the Tigers. 103 73, a new season high for the group. But the biggest task now is how to keep it rolling. Everything just felt good tonight, and a big part of it is our assistant coach got inducted to the Hall of Fame, and I'm glad we had a big night for him. We have to give our best effort, and like I said earlier, we have to fight for it. You know, we can only control right now the games we have in front of us, and if we do that and we play at the level we're capable, I'm confident we're going to be somewhere where we can make a push in the, in the postseason, and that, that's all that matters for us right now.